Hey guys, welcome back to Beautisserie. I'm Katie and today I'm going to do a look uh, inspired by Kim Kardashian. It was an image that I've seen, um, I saw, sorry, quite a while back. Uh, she was at like a NASCAR kind of thing in the States uh, doing some promotion work. Her makeup was um, really, really pretty and really, really girly. Um, instantly saw it and really liked it. So I'm going to start, just going to put a bit of lip balm on my lips. This is EOS. You can get this in most drugstores in the States, it's organic, it's a really great little lip balm. You can't get it here anymore in the UK, unfortunately. So I'm going to start with foundation, and I'm going to use Shiseido B00 Very Light Beige. Apparently this is what uh, Kate Middleton wore on her wedding day. And it's apparently supposed to be, this foundation is supposed to be uh, the next step up from a uh, tinted moisturiser. This foundation is quite, it's quite a velvety finish. So it's quite mattifying. I've already done my brows. I've done them quite structured because Kim K always has hers quite sharp. I've not used a primer for this video. I really like this foundation. It's so lovely. Okay. There will be an image of this on our blog, which is www.beautisserie.blog.com. To start with the eyes, I'm going to use this palette, which is a Stila palette. It's got three different contouring shades in there. I'm going to use this flat colour there, that pale one. And I'm just going to apply that with a brush like this. This is a quite a nice flesh tone that doesn't have any, you know, unusual colours going through it or sparkle. It's a really pretty colour. Well, she has got a brown contour, but I'm going to try a grey. Uh, I just got a new product this morning from Bobbi Brown called Steel 22. It's an eyeshadow. And it's a really beautiful colour. So that's the product. If you don't know already about Bobbi Brown, these actual pans pop out and you can palette them. So that's my colour that I'm going to use for my contour. She's got quite a heavy contour on the top and the bottom. And then a liquid liner. So there's that, I'm going to use my little Revlon brush and I'm just going to apply it in there. So I'm just going to blend that right in there. She always goes quite heavy on the contour, Kim. Whenever she's doing a look like this, she really goes for it. She doesn't do it lightly, which I quite like, really. I think she suits it. So my contour is in, the main contour, and I'm going to give a bit of definition on the bottom lash line. The same colour, with a little smudge brush. I'm just going to join those edges up. Then I'm going to use my Shumora eyeliner brush. with Bobbi Brown Black Ink. So this is my liquid liner about to go on now. I'm just going to start in the middle like I always do and work my way back. And then I'm going to get my wing first. So there's my wing. I'm going to tweak it forward to my tear duct area of the eye. So I've got that on, I'm just going to perfect the edges. I'm then going to take a Shurimura gel eyeliner pot, which is that one. I use this quite a lot. With a flat liner from Laura Mercier, I'm just going to do the waterline top and bottom. So I'm going to take a soft brush like this one. This is 239 from MAC. I'm going to use a taupe 
product. I'm going to use a bit of that one. I'm just going to pull that bottom line. Well, I'm going to pull the definition of the bottom lash line out a little bit to kind of match the wing at the top. I'm going to follow this taupe over the top of the grey just to give it a bit more warmth. That's the palette I've been working from again. I'm going to use that white on my skin in a minute as well. Well, it's not white, it's cream. So now what I'm going to do is use highlighter everywhere. And this is Becca Opal. I'm going to take my uh, Duo Fibre from MAC and take a little bit in the bristles and just start applying it over the face. So she's got a lot of highlighter down her nose. So I'm actually going to apply it with my fingertip so that I get full coverage, full saturation either. Okay, so now I'm going to apply blush, and for this blush she's got quite a rosy coral by the looks of things. So I'm going to use a bit of Bobbi Brown Pale Pink Lip and Cheek mixed with Bobbi Brown Calypso Coral Lip and Cheek, because it's neither pink nor coral, so I'm going to use a mixture of those two. So I'm just going to take this little brush, I'm just going to pop a little bit on that, a little bit, so basically just done like that and like that and then I'm going to go to the skin. And just buff it in. So now I'm going to set everything because I'm going to use powders to contour and I want everything to be quite uh, dry. I don't want my skin to be moist once I've, when I'm going to cut contour with powders and bronzers. So I'm going to use RMK this one. This is called uh, N00 Face Powder FX. Fa sorry, face, face Powder EX. I'm just going to place it here all through the T-zone. So I'm going to use Taupe from MAC as my contour. There it is. I'm going to use my new Bobbi Brown uh, powder brush. I like it because it's got a pointed tip so it's, uh, it's quite good for contouring. So I'm just going to hold my hair out of the way so I can see my ear and I just take the product down. So I'm going to contour with the same product but with a different brush down the sides of my nose. Uh, the reason why I'm using this to do that is because it's the most neutral sort of contour product that is around. With this brush, which is a Laura Mercier ponytail, just tap off any excess and just come down the sides of the nose, like so. You can bring it into the brow a little bit, make it look quite, it'll make it look more natural. I'm going to use Laura Mercier bronzer. I'm just going to take the product on the brush, tap off the excess, and she's got a lot here on her temples. So I'm just going to go across the chin, down the neck, definitely do the ears because my hair's up. This is a race paste in number one by Benefit, and I'm just going to take this under the eye, there. And just lift the uh, makeup. I'm just going to melt it in with my fingertips because I've got powder, a little bit of powder on there, and I don't want it to make it cakey. Obviously, cream over the top of powder isn't always the best um, formula. So I'm going to use uh, the pale colour that I used on my eyelids at the beginning to use as my powder highlight in the centre of my face. She's always very matte in the centre of her skin. So, duo fibre, and I'm just going to pack it over the top of what I've done just now with my concealer. Just work it down into the blush a little bit. So for MAC, I highlight it in here, I'm going to use Shroom from MAC. with a smudge brush from Space and K. Just to lift and open the eye. Okay, so I've curled my lashes. I'm gonna apply a bit of my favorite mascara of the moment, which is customized by Revlon. So I've done my mascara and now to finish off the eyes I'm going to use a white in here just to separate the top and the bottom detail. So I've got a pencil from Corres, which I'm actually going to melt onto the back of my hand like so. 
take a load of it off. Then I'm gonna take the brush that I always do my brows with, which is this one. I'm just gonna take the product on the brush. I'm just gonna do a line right where the eye separates into two. The eyelids separate into two with this. And just keep applying it until you're happy with the depth of the colour. So I've applied the white eyeliner on the edge of the lid there, right there. And then just to set that and make it pop a little bit more, I'm going to use a white powder eyeshadow over the top. There you go. So what I've used for the lips is a pink eyeshadow, that colour, mixed over the top of a lip balm. You can use all kinds of things for your lips as long as you do it properly. And the lip balm obviously moistens it and stops it from looking like a powder. And then just to show you, I'm going to go back over the top with the balm. Here. And then it just moistens it and makes it look more like a lipstick. So this is the finished look. I would really like to know what you think about this makeup. I really like it. I think it's really wearable. It's very girly and pretty um, and makes me feel like I'm 21 again. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We will be back with more videos later on this week. And we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.